Hello, the gentleman gamer here, and today I'm playing Eve Online on the test server, and I'm looking uh, at the new uh, T3 tactical destroyer for the Mimitar, the Sufpool. I hope I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> uh, it's uh, I'm, uh, I looked it up. It, uh, Sifpool is Nordic for changeable. I think. I think it's a pretty clever name. <laughs> Never thought of that. Very clever. And um, I, well, actually, I, it was seated yesterday, I believe. But when I went to do the modes, it was a little glitchy. Uh, so I decided to wait a day, and I tested it up before, and it look they look okay now. And to jump right into it. Uh, well, before I do that, you can see here all my ships, uh, my testing facility. <laughs> it's become my testing facility uh, over the last like few weeks, I guess. I bring ships out here and do stuff, I guess. But um, see the confessor in the background right here. There, there he is. <laughs> but um, but today we're doing this one. So currently, you see the ship now. Uh, pretty standard-looking ship uh, look to it. It's in the speed mode. So in this mode, it gets a uh, bonus to maximum velocity and uh, a bonus to ship inertia modifier. So uh, right now, I think the max speed is seven, 716, uh, this regular velocity. And on the micro warp drive, it goes almost 3K. You know, you've overheat it, of course, which a lot of people do. You almost get five. You get 448K, almost. So it's very fast ship. Uh, I think it's going to be one of the fastest out of the T3s, um, destroyers. Uh, I know some people have uh, been working just using TEM, uh, TEM and MN uh, afterburners, like the Confessor. But I, I kind of felt weird putting that on here, because uh, it gets an explicit bonus to micro warp drive here in its defensive mode. And I don't know, I, I feel I admit, it feels like it might just make more sense. And my nose is moving by itself. <laughs> I was supposed to do that. <laughs> um, anyway, um, so I, I put the micro warp drive on anyway. It gets pretty good speed, and when we look at the defensive mode, we'll see the um, uh, the signature decrease we get from it. So but anyway, turn this stuff off here, and this is speed mode, of course. And the next mode we'll be looking at is uh, defensive mode. So we'll turn this on. And give us an idea of what it look, what the signature looks like, before we put the defensive mode on, and it's 330, 330. Um, that's our signature. Now we'll t take this off real quick, and put it in defensive mode. Looks very cool. And yeah, it goes vertical. <laughs> that looks really cool. I love it. It's like a transformer kind of. <laughs> I th the best description I got for it was from uh, from Kira from the Neocom podcast. Uh, it looks like a little man hiding behind a tree. <laughs> There's a little man. <laughs> Very funny. Um, now we'll, we'll check the fitting again. And yes, our uh, signature has gone down to from 330 to uh, 146. So it's a pretty big drop in uh, signature. So and of course, as in the in this mode. Uh, for the Minotaur, the shields and armor get a resist, but split resist. Not a 66.6, .6, but a 33.3 .3 across both. So a little more uh, versatile, like most of the Minotaur ships are. Alrighty. And the next mode is sharpshooter mode. Now we get a bonus to tracking speed on this one, so we should probably check the tracking on the guns here. Let's see. Where is tracking? Why am I not seeing it? There it is. 0 0.0. 192 rads a second. Now this should go up. We'll take a look. We'll actually, we'll get rid of this real quick. And we'll get a good view of the sniper mode. Okay, these back goes up. These ones stretch out. Very cool. <laughs> All I see now is a little man now. <laughs> Let's uh, check the projectile information. We probably have to refresh it. Yep, and it did go up. Your tracking did go up. I'm not sure how much if that really helps a whole lot, but you do get better application of the tracking's better. So, so there you go. Uh, that is the mode. Let's go back to speed mode. And I think it's a little slow between some of these transformations. I think either that or because the whole ship moves, it looks slower than the confessor. But there we go. Back in battle venture mode. <laughs> But I think it looks really cool. 
uh, some very interesting um, bonuses it gets. Uh, some people say that the tracking bonus on the sharpshooter is useless, but I don't know. I, I think if you're if you're looking at like um, uh, just just ba uh, just uh, damage application from um, from auto cannon or something like that, it might be useful, especially if you're going really fast, like the ship can go. Um, I think it's pretty good. I think it's very interesting to see how people uh, work with it. Uh, I probably think in most people will go sni uh, sniper mode just to get the uh, the fast targeting for the the alpha, you know full alpha strikes on people. But uh, it looks awesome. I love it, uh, especially the uh, vertical mode. It looks so cool. <laughs> uh, but that's it. I think I don't think I need to show anything else. That's all the modes. Here's my fitting. Um, I can't fit in the turret ships. I never. I don't fly them very often. But this is what I have altogether. I have Arties up top, Tech 2s. Uh, I have a scan probe launcher to hunt down explorers and get on grid in sniper mode and just, just alpha them off the field. Uh, micro warp drive, which is apparently debatable. People still trying, uh, still using Temenen afterburns on the test server. Uh, long point, and a buffer, some resists, and gyro, gyro stab 2s, and some uh, nanofiber 2s for more speed. And I got this fitting rigs because I couldn't fit all the stuff on here by itself. <laughs> so that's the video, guys. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I can't wait to see the other ones come out. And uh, hopefully the uh, hopefully the I I'm not sure what they're gonna do with the Kaldari. They might make it missiles or not, or if they're gonna make the uh, Galenti one drones. Um, I think it'd be interesting to see how with the mode shift what they would do with the drones. Um, I think they can do it. It'd be interesting, though. I'm uh, I'll also will just wait like the rest of everybody else and see what they're gonna do. But uh, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, leave a like. If you like the content, subscribe. And fly safe and fly brave.